This is Josepha Hayden with MyFreshPlans.com. Nature shows us wonderful variety, and one of the ways that we can see that best is in the beaks of birds. Some birds have beaks that are like a spoon and can scoop things. Some birds have beaks like chopsticks that are long and pointy, can grab things. And some birds have beaks like tweezers. Again, small and pointy, but can get into really tiny spaces. Really, there are more beak types than these three, but these three tools will help you to recreate a popular science experiment in your classroom that helps to understand adaptation. Get multiples of your three tools and distribute them to all of your students. Also give each one of them a paper cup to use as the bird's stomach. On your lab surface, put out three dishes containing different types of food that represent worms, spaghetti, seeds, seeds, and bugs or berries. I have gummy bears for that. When you say go, have each of your students take their utensils, their chopsticks or spoon or tweezers, and try to get as much of the food as they can into their little bird stomachs. When you say stop, they should all put down their utensils and return to their seats with their bird stomachs. Each student should record the type of utensil they used and how much of each food they were able to get into their bird stomachs. Um, I used chopsticks and I got two seeds. I used tweezers and I got 18 berries. You should probably start seeing a pattern here. Discuss the experience and decide whether it's easier to get certain types of food with certain tools. Is it easier to get worms with the chopsticks or with a spoon? Is it easier to get berries with the tweezers or with the chopsticks? Now have your students research some birds, either online or in reference books, and write down the type of food that it eats and also draw a picture of its beak. Separate out these pictures into beak types and see if you can find any patterns in the food that they eat. Make a bulletin board that shows all of the research that you've done and any conclusions that you were able to draw.